Hey, welcome into a mystery fifth hour. We are at the Flora Bama Bar and Lounge and Liquor Store and Old River Grill, which is the, the compound, if you will. The compound, yeah. the Old River Grill, which is the sports bar location where we do our show from here often. That's Jim Dunaway. I'm Ryan Brown. Lance Taylor, Steve Powers, who's the director of entertainment at the Florida Bama. Anytime we do a mystery fifth hour from the Florida Bama, Steve's with us. I love this. I love this. I had to bring out some new food. I know we had wings and stuff during the broadcast. This is something they're doing, I think, limited time. It's a waffle with brisket on top. That's right. uh, coleslaw in there, bourbon drizzle mm-hmm. on there with Boy, it. So it looks good. We can tear into that, too, if yeah. you want to. But. Wait, so is that is that uh, – so is it crab meat or is that that's coleslaw? Coleslaw. That's coleslaw. Okay, okay. okay. But thank you for underselling it. That's- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like coleslaw. <laughs> that to work out pretty oh. good. <laughs> oh, that's just coleslaw. Yeah. Oh, it's just, no, I like coleslaw. Just coleslaw. And man. I like a mayonnaise-based coleslaw, which yeah. is th- – what that is it is that it is yeah. that thanks for coming guys speak, yeah we're speak. always love being here i love being here army navy weekend too when it's a lot warmer in here yeah, i know it i know it and so we hey has done we complained about it. the temperature yeah that's the first i've heard of it in yeah. The last yeah two minutes <laughs> I, I just i'm just worried about the, uh, the business owners here that you know there's the overhead on how we were taking <laughs> pictures after the regular show before we did mystery fifth yeah. hour yeah, and yeah, every please, person man. i put they were like Oh my God, your, your hands, hands are cold. cold. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, you got to fill my deck. <laughs> your what? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if we could find it, it's so cold. Wow. Um, so cold. Another great menu item. They have pork skins that they dip in caramel sauce here. Did you That's try right. that? How were they? It was uh, very good. Unbelievable. Yeah. I would have never thought to do that. It was so good, man. Yeah, I've always liked, uh, but like bacon or oh, yeah. sausage and syrup. Oh, right. Right. Try one. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the pork yeah, skins yeah. dipped in caramel sauce. Okay. Try one of those. Yeah, I'll try yeah. that. Oh, you're going to want to pull made. I know You're going to pull the mic up. That's going to be super We have such crunchy. an incredible culinary team here and, yeah. and at all the restaurants, too. But they just do such a great job. And it's all led with, with <laughs> Chef <laughs> Dickens. <laughs> Chef Chris Dickens is amazing. Uh, and everybody trains under him. And we have right. some incredible uh, sous chefs and, and uh, great people here, man. I'm, I'm proud to work here. Proud to show the place You off should be. Sure. It's yeah. an amazing oh, yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is, love it, it. is that just seasoning on top of the pork skins? I hope so. <laughs> You guys, have you tried it? Nothing yeah. special, though. Is it, is it, is it's that, not crab is that, smoked seasoning. No, that, it's just is that seasoning. seasoning or is that just salt and pepper it's on top just, of that? <laughs> there might be a little seasoning in it. It's not, hey, nothing special. The Mystery Fifth Hour is presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. McCurry Van and Car Rental is the local rental company you can depend on, all kinds of vehicles to choose from. That includes trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans. Easy to rent, in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. And Skyland Boulevard in Tuscaloosa. Call and reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003 or McCurryRentals.com. That's McCurryRentals.com. Now, Steve has joined us for the Mystery Fifth Hour. We've got Bushwhackers flowing, some Bud Light, some pork uh, rinds with uh, caramel dip, a brisket, slaw, waffle. I did have one question. Yeah. It's still called the Mystery Fifth Hour. Yeah, that's okay. We just didn't, so we didn't want to go back and rebrand. No, that. here's the history of that. So it, yeah, you'll you'll well, you were this nine out. to one. We no, no, this goes all the way back to our radio days. We were twelve to two, and we went ten to two, ten to two, ten to two. Excuse me, thank okay. you. We were ten to two, four hour show, yeah. Bushwhacker number two. And we went to <laughs> our uh, we went to our management. They were pushing podcasting, and we're like, you know what would be the biggest podcast on our entire station, one of the biggest in the country, is if you let us talk about non-sports right on a podcast. I agree agreed right like we we do a podcast that is no sports whatsoever because it's some of the most popular topics of on our show even back in our radio days and they were like okay do it you know yeah. we love that so we did it and we just called it the mystery fifth hour because right. it was the fifth hour no reason to change it yeah and we used to tease it on the show i the name came from on the show like one day we just started this joke. We're like, hey, stay tuned for the uh, fifth hour coming up. Barack Obama, Tiger Woods, and yeah. Charles Barkley. <laughs> Mystery you know? fifth hour. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, I don't want to correct history, but I yes. felt like when we got dialed back to three hours one time, we had the mystery fourth hour. No, and that's when we no, joked that's about not it. Yeah, I don't know. That didn't when we no, lost I do, an hour. I do it was think... ten to two because we would joke about the extravagant, hour. yeah, uh, yeah. fictitious. Yeah. Sure, uh, I didn't mean to take us down a road. Yeah. Yeah. No. Schedule, schedule to a question. Question. Tiger Woods. Yeah, Tiger Woods. Bill Barack Clinton, Obama. Bill Clinton, yeah, Clinton Bill Clinton playing the George yeah. W. Bush is yeah. going to talk presidential politics. I mean, oh, we would do these yeah. crazy teases, and people would be like. Hey, where do I find that? I'd love to hear y'all tell the Tiger Woods. You drop it on the same time on the weekends, or is it just randomly? It uh, drops every, pretty much every Friday. Okay. The Mystery Fifth Hour drops. So, uh, so that is a carryover from radio. The Mystery Fifth Hour name. Well, good. 
But since you're our guest, we're going to let you select the topic. Yeah, please do. Hit us with it. We did this on Dive Bar Cafe the other day. So it, Dive Bar Cafe can be found where? Floor Bama uh, Radio. I listen to it every week. Mm-hmm. Thank you so yeah. much. On the iHeart Radio. He's such radio. a liar. Yeah. iHeart Radio. He does. He does. When we he does. play Re- golf. Recently had Riley Green on. Yeah. Uh, when we play golf, Dunaway always has iHeart Radio it's, on listen, with Floor Bama Radio. It's commercial free. It's a great soundtrack. Classic I'm country. not saying it's not. I just find it hard to believe country. that he listens yeah. to he Dive Bar Radio. Is that is that the same It's called Dive Bar Cafe because it's a Big Earl show. It's a one-hour show with Big Earl, me, and Jen every week that we record and put together. Oh, okay. and that, okay. So that's what Dive Bar is on Floribama Radio, Floor on Radio. the iHeart Radio. Okay. Yeah. My favorite so one episode ever is when Big Earl had come up with the theme of the music list, and you guys are trying to guess the entire time. What a dick move. And I was trying to guess it as well. What a dick move. And then at the end, I forget what it was, but it was so something asinine. So give me asinine. an, an example like, of what Big Earl was doing. Oh, he was playing songs. He's like, he, he's trying to make us make a connection to all these songs. Like, all these songs have something in common. So you're racking your brain. So give me oh, they all talk about beer. They're all yeah. talking about li- yeah. your bars or whatever. Uh, yeah, losing your job or leaving your wife yeah. or something. And you try and make the case. No, no, you're close. You're close. And at the end, it's like, all these songs were released before you were born. Yeah. Oh, uh, was so yeah, 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 the wah, yeah. wah. So yeah. it was. We usually have better shows than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a great show because I, I I refused to stop listening. I was through through on the golf course, and I said, "We'll have a cocktail." The, and we'll, I got to hear the ending, and that's why I told him. I said, "The payoff's not there yeah. for that long of a tease. You have yeah. to have a payoff." That's and then, right. And then when he said there. it, I was like, "Can I get my check, please?" <laughs> so we did this the other day, and I said, "It was very simple. You know, you're going to be stranded on a desert island. Okay, there's no being rescued. There's no chance of it being rescued. With those things in mind." What are you going to bring with you? You get three items. You bring three items to survive on a desert island where you're going to be for the rest now, of your life. Let me warn you. You know us pretty well. Lance is a loophole guy. Yep. <laughs> he's, yep. he's always going to find I a did, loophole. I'm just, bringing I, my I, genie lamp. Yes, yes, yes. Her ass is getting me off the island. <laughs> okay, well, you're not getting off the island. Right. Okay, so leave your genie lamp at home. Okay. Especially if she's dressed like the one we discussed earlier. Yeah, yeah Barbara Eden, um, Christina Aguilera. So I think... Number one, you're going to have to have fire is going to become very important to you. So Correct. like an aim and flame or a blowtorch or something, whatever. Uh, I saw Tom Cruise make fire on that island without that. Tom Cruise or Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah. Tom Cruise could have. Yeah, did Cruise, Tom he, Hanks, didn't he hit skates he, together? Or? He did, but do you know how long that took him? Yeah, wow. Of course, you got none but time on yeah. an island. But a fire is going to become your friend. You're going to need it for light. You're going to need to cook. Yep. You're going to need it probably to scare away some uh, wild animals. You're going to need it maybe to signal ships to come pick you up. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take some sort of fire producing. Well, you're not getting off the island, so. You're not getting off the island. You just need to cook with so it. So I'll let you think about that a minute. But, did but you, no, did I mean, you... would you not agree with fire, though? Yeah, fire yeah. becomes yeah. fire think... becomes maybe the most important thing. Warmth. I think you have to think it through. But while you're thinking about this, let me throw this out there. Did you know there was one actor in Top Gun and also Castaway? One common, one common actor. Mm-hmm. I, uh, couldn't, I couldn't wait. Think of and either. what? And what? Top Gun. Yeah. And Castaway. With Tom uh, Hanks. Oh, it was the same volleyball. It's the same volleyball. Oh, <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was a Wilson. It was volleyball. a Wilson volleyball, but it wasn't the same volleyball. Wilson. You don't know that. Wilson, Wilson went out. He was in the Indian Ocean. He's gone. <laughs> what Top Gun was made first? Though. Okay, so like I'm ha- bringing a knife. I'm bringing yeah, a knife I mean, to the island. You're going to need that, too. Knife and fire are but almost I, So is it? So if I say I'm going to bring a Bucky's. No. See, I told you he's a loophole guy. I can't bring a Bucky's. No. He's a loophole guy. If you if you really stop and think Bucky's about it. Bucky's has got everything, right? They most do. people go, well, I'm bringing my phone. Well, no, you're not because you're you not going to be able to charge it. You don't have cell service. No you charger. Yep. Actually, I'm bringing a solar-powered generator. Okay. Okay. So That's uh, good. I've got one. Patty got me on one. No, real quick, though. Let me go back to this. You bring a solar power generator. What are you? What are you actually firing up? Now you're going to need. Up, it. I'm firing up my satellite television. Okay, that's one. Now you got a satellite. <laughs> that's two items now. So there's yeah. two items. Now what right. else you got? Um, I don't know. <laughs> maybe these. Uh, this, uh, I got time to think. Maybe, maybe the some, port skin. Maybe the port skin. Maybe maybe yeah. so. I'm bringing a fishing pole. I mean, you're I on think, an island. I can, think I think fishing pole, I knife, make, and fire are probably the three main things. Can I say three thousand cases of wine? You or can is say that, whatever you want. No, but is that is that one or is it? Can I just have one bottle of wine? Can I have yeah. 3,000 cases? I told you, he's a loophole. He's Again, looking for the loophole. Three items. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's a bottle of wine. Yeah, this is tough. Patty, Patty I'm got sit me on thing. one that I didn't think of. She said. Your wife, Patty, mm-hmm. for those that don't know. A uh, water purifier. Water purifier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. 
Well, I did not think about that. Yeah, at, point, at that point, you can even take well, the salt water. Actually, but I don't I've know got, if you can with the salt water. Can if I've you? got fire, no. If you boil salt water, does it lose the? I, think, I don't think I, you have to do something to treat it. Anyway, back to we'd you. all be dead. You, quick. And, you yeah, and Patty, so, you and okay, Patty play this game the same. Anyway. You and Patty play this game the same. Her answer was not a water purifier. I said that was a good one that came up, I think, from Jen or Big Earl, one or the other. And she goes, "Oh, well, my island has a natural spring on it, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> that." Right. Mine does I was too. Like, that yeah. is such BS yeah. loophole. Mine does too. loophole with yeah. a cabana with, with, with the cabana. yeah with <laughs> bottle <Starting> service. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's got bamboo. I can have my own yeah. fishing pole. I'm not wasting one on that. And no, maybe I, maybe a Ruby, Rubik's cube. Keep you busy. Oh, no, 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 you know what? There's I, no pressure to solve it. I would bring. I would bring uh, a bullet and chili. I would bring my dogs with me. That's two. I would love. That's I would, two things. I, yeah. I would. It would be tough to do so, without my dogs. It really would be. Now you've that. got to feed you and two dogs. <laughs> True. No, they're feeding um, themselves. Fish and, and pole. I think fish and pull. Fish I think and pull. Fire. Unlimited supply of matches. Or you know, aim and flame. The aim and flame is going to okay. run out at some point. But here's the thing: How can it be unlimited supply no. of matches no. if it I, can't be unlimited see, supply of wine? He's already he's already taint, tainted the game. No, here's well, what said, I want a toothbrush. I don't want my teeth falling out. I don't care if anybody's around or no, not. No one's going to. I don't care. I do. I do too. <laughs> that is but one thing. Find about a way. It. That's like when you start shooting holes in Castaway. You're like, <laughs> the guy didn't brush his teeth for months and then pulled his own out. Oh, oh man, no, well, he knocked it out with a rock and a skate, didn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, it's terrible. I, here's what I would do, Steve. I would get on the island. I would think this through. I would get on the island, okay. and I would build a massive, massive fire. Okay. So that I don't run through my like. If you, I thought it, you were gonna jump in it. If you, <laughs> maybe so. If you use an aim and flame or a lighter, you're gonna run through that too quick. You're right. gonna get too. Oh, I got a lot of fire. I got a lot of fire. He's but if you build a massive fire, if you build a massive fire, you just got a continuous fire. Continuous going. fire going. Yeah, and you always go out and get something <laughs> throw on it. So you're gonna have a continuous fire going. Yes. Twenty four hours a day. Why, you're why still is that? Fire. Why is that absurd? I mean, if it's a big enough fire, it'll burn through the night. It'll you burn see, through the night. Then saying. you add. You know, All right. I think I've got my. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's crazy about that? Well, when it becomes, uh, I don't know, a rainy storm blows through. What's it? What's going to happen to your well, massive I mean, fire? I've preserved my lighter so I can light the next fire. At the I, island I, he's at, there's no storm. Yeah. So I guess, how I how often? How often does it rain on an island? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been out there. <laughs> I mean, it, it pissed daily. pissed rain on his island in Castaway. If, if we you, just want to continue to reference that. If yeah, you build a fire in a cave. Now you got something. Oh, there's caves. Oh, there's caves on your island? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there was on Castaway. And natural springs. You got springs. a cabana and natural springs. <laughs> yeah. No, Lance, I'm going to do. You know what? Let's just go to the island. Lance I mean, is going to have Lance is gonna have the Bahamas before this is all over. <laughs> Bullet, <laughs> chili, and a marijuana plant. <laughs> a marijuana plant. I didn't think about well, weed. Like, well, well I mean, you need a buzz. You, you're going to be out there like, I just want to be able to chill out and just like stare at the surf. Look, look around that. You need that yeah. leaf, those guys in, uh, what was the other Tom Hanks movie the, where he's the, the boat? Uh, Captain, Captain, Phillips. Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips. Those leaves that those Somalians ate yeah. kind of high. Yeah. They that were eating those leaves too. left and right. Those guys are high as a, they were stoned as a <laughs> well, bat. You just throw them on your fire and just hang out and just, yeah, so. just sit. Sit and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So did you come Three's up with Three's not enough. I need Three's 100. Not enough. I need 100 and in quantity. You don't know you're going to be. I told you this was going to happen. It's just, yeah. this is, we should have known. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Steve is right. I'm going to go fishing pole, knife, and uh, some sort of. Some sort of. Fire starter. Fire, fire, fire starter. Fire good. Yeah. Fire, fire. starter. That's good. my three. Fishing pole, knife, fire starter. Done away. Okay. Right. To you. Don't know why he's going to take Steffi Graf. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, real quick. Why not just three girls? So, Steffi Graf, hot or not? How do we get to the island? Yes. Okay, so you think she's hot? Yeah, I always said hot as, what did you call her? Hot as fire back in the hot day. Hot as fire back, back in the day. I, I was yeah. going to reference yeah. earlier I mean, on. if you did earlier the clean the decapitation career. and just put another head on her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really? really? Yeah. You think she's a butterface? Uh, yeah. Uh, and, I don't think that at all. And, okay. And, and center court, Steffi, when she won Here her last comes. Wimbledon. Here he is. going to Google image. The last Wimbledon. He's got to find the worst possible. <laughs> no, I'm going to go like uh, early 90s Steffi Graf. What's wrong with that? I mean, I don't think you ought to feel bad. Whoever you think is good looking, you think is good looking. Yeah, I don't right, care one way right. or the other. Sounds right. like, what was the episode, Hot some, or Not? Some people like Chinese office. crested dogs. The yeah. Office did this on an episode. I didn't see that Hot one. or Not. Hillary yeah. Swank, Hot or Not. They no, had to convince because each other she played a dude. And, and I don't know if you ever saw that movie. She won an Academy Award for it. But Million Dollar I, Baby? I can't unsee it. No, she won an Academy Award for that, too. Okay. But it was called uh, One of the Boys or something, which she played. It was a true story. I do remember seeing yeah. that. All right, let me see. Uh, see, those are all. There's, I mean, no. So this is. I mean, does she Graf? have the greatest features? No. No. Is she. 
I think, all right, so Steve Dunaway's got a thing he calls the 20% rule. Right. Which is any female in an all-male environment is 20% better looking automatically. Depends on the dude she's around, too, but yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think any female. So if you go to a biker bar, like, a bunch of dudes, you draw, or you walk a female in there, she's automatically 20%. But like if she's a 10, she goes to a 12. Yeah. I mean, she's I automatically 10% better looking. Yeah, Is that the same concept. if you went to an express oil change and you've got one chick working the... Uh, 100%. She's 20% oh, yeah. better yeah. looking. I mean, she is 20% she, better looking. That doesn't okay. mean she's so, great, but that means she's 20% better than where she really is. They so, show Yellowstone, the, yeah. the chick yes. that is so obnoxious. Yes. The tweeter, the what's her name? tweeter, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I Great just, body. I'm, Who? I'm, one of the chicks she's in a, uh, Yellowstone. She's so obnoxious. She's... Thin, thin as a rail, and she yeah. chews and spits. And she's, oh, I she's the one who's spit. in the river with one of them when the horses come and stomp. Chew and spit oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah, an yeah. it's an immediate. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I don't I, know if the twenty percent rule works for her, but I mean, Steffi as an adult, not horrible. No, right? I mean, not horrible. Is it the nose? One way to the s- nose? Is that what's throwing you, Lance? Yeah, is. I'm not a big fan of the nose. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Steph yeah. playing, but I do think. I do think we are not conditioned to think athletes are the best looking people. Models are. So right. when you see an athlete that's somewhat attractive, I think she's subject to the 20%. Yeah, role. but I mean, like if you put Anna Kornikova next to her, it's not even close. Well, right? Yeah, not. but at that point, Anna Kornikova didn't exist. I was a young man and yeah. Steffi Graf existed. I'm with him on that. Big Earl Island. You know what he's bringing? <laughs> what, what did Big Earl say? Three things he's bringing to that. I'm bringing a, 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 a water, water purifier thing. Uh, and uh, my fair faucet poster from the 90s <laughs> and a knife or something. My wow. fair faucet poster. Just from hanging it on a tree. Yeah, yeah I guess There's so. no fair again. All right. All right. So pretty good question. So we'll, we can spend some time with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. were your three? Let's don't go real loophole. ones. Let's don't go loophole. Real, real ones. Bucky's. I'm going to bring up Bucky's. <laughs> most ridiculous you, I mean, thing. Bucky's was good. <laughs> uh, water purifier is, is the way to go. Yeah, I had not thought about a water purifier. Me neither. Uh, I'll go... I guess a water purifier. Okay. All no, right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my marijuana plant and bullet and chili. Bullet and chili. Two dogs and a marijuana plant. Lance I, has. Lance has. Nothing. We're all gonna be starving after the three I, yeah. of us get stoned. Yeah, but every day you're gonna be happy. You have your dogs. I know. And weed. Right. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. a happy day. Yeah, I'll take that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right. I hope. I hope we're never in that situation. So what are you going with? Oh, I'm. I, I said I'm going with uh, fire starter. Whatever the you know the aim and flame. Whatever yeah. you want to go with. Yeah. Um, uh, the torch, whatever it is, um, that a knife and a fishing pole. Yeah. I'm going very survivalist like Steve. I'm not going to do any of the creature comforts. I'm going to try to live. Don't know but, but there again, like do you, you going, really you, want, you, you going you, triplets from uh, Russia? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> triplets from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, actually it'll be like Maggie's on the Island and she's surprised that I showed up. We ended up in the same place. <laughs> you son of a bitch. 26 <laughs> years of marriage. How we all is she? <laughs> she's like, oh, we yeah, in the island home. in the world. <laughs> Let me guess. And here. she's like this. Let me guess. She didn't bring the water purifier, did you? <laughs> did you? I, I didn't think you would. Maybe I forgot you? it. I knew I'm you sorry. forgot. Did sorry. you? And who are these other two guys? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the question. The ultimate question. If you know you're stranded on an island forever, yeah. are you going to try to prolong it? Yeah, I mean, you could. No, no. I'm you saying, do you, do you want, want to prolong to? it? Do you want to prolong it? Like, if I know I'm stranded on an island forever, I'm like, do you bring something to end it? Yeah, I bring a bullet to go. I don't know. I mean, like. I bet you could learn to love it. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Steve. No pressure, no if, meetings. If no. you knew, if you <laughs> knew, you might one day get rescued. You've got something, something to live, to live for. for. Yeah, you got hope. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of people that would love to live in solitude, yeah. right? Yeah, yep. Ted yeah. Kaczynski. Solar powered, <laughs> solar powered satellite radio. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, a rifle and ammunition. What do you need rifle and ammunition for? You got to eat. <laughs> what do you got? Cannibals on the island? <laughs> <laughs> I got to defend my radio. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to want that damn thing. <laughs> that's right. You know uh, they are. Holy yeah. crap. All Look right. at this party that's coming here. It's like yeah. 70 people. And they're like, who are these idiots? Jesus. Hey, yeah. are you, uh, are you Family coming? reunion. Are we doing uh, Army Navy again? Yeah, 14th. we're going to. Tr- we figured it that's out. The plan. 14th, that's right? the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, we'll be down that for Army Navy. That was a good time. Yeah, we had a great time. All All right. Right. Army yeah. Navy at the, uh, so real quick, Floribama. I mean, we like to promote it, but the room's really full. Of it's Army tough to get more in there. It's, for it's sure. tough to get more in there, but it, just being around the area. And so we much have fun. those conversations like, you know, we could move this to the tent. Yeah. Like the big tent. But all of us at the same time are like, you lose you lose yeah. the atmosphere. It's yeah. the atmosphere of being it's in the, uh, right next to each other. I agree. Yeah. You know if, I mean? you've, if you've ever been to Florida, it's the main room, which some people call the songwriter's room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just off. 
excuse me, just off the dome, and you have a lot of retired military here with the naval bases close by, right. yep. uh, and Army and Navy people, and it is the coolest environment because every play, one side of the room is cheering. It's perfect. It is so cool. Yeah, we had a good time. And uh, you just, I mean, it's hard not to leave there and just be in awe of those people that are in the room. All right. All right, well, yeah, we'll be back for that. Good. Hey, thanks for having us to Florida, Bama, as always, Steve. It's always fun. I love having you guys here. We're going to yeah. go boating this afternoon. We're going to do it. it. Captain Brent's taking us out on the Coastal Cruiser. Uh-uh. And then you see the one next to it, which is the Bama Breeze. Yeah. The Bama Breeze is a 50-passenger dolphin cruise boat. Oh, wow. And then the Coastal Cruiser is just for, if you want to rent it, there's nobody else on there that you don't know, right? But on the Bama Breeze, going to look at dolphins, you're with other people. But if okay. you get on the cruiser... And it holds twenty, and you only have eight people. We're not going to add more people to it. Yeah, right. It's nice. your it's your boat with your captain. So you can rent those. The marina is the only part of the Floribama property that's in the state of Alabama. That's exactly right. But that's the marina, so yep. you can rent that there at the marina. A lot yep. of people don't know they know the Floribama if you've never been here. But across the street from the Floribama, you've got the marina. You've got where we are, the Old River Grill, which is a sports bar. You got the yacht club, which is a great restaurant. The liquor store is there too. The liquor store with lotto tickets, which right is there it. on the yeah. Florida line. We got to go finish our business deal. That's, that's right. right. These two are. In business scale in the letter. Y'all, y'all are up what twenty bucks? Sixty two yeah. on one ticket, twelve on another. Yeah. I haven't checked the third. They want to upset the world, don't they? <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be amazing when we win. But yeah. the difference is you'll retire. He wants to keep working. He'll blow I'll through keep it. working. Really? Yeah. I work at the floor of Bama, dude. It's not work. Oh, I yeah. will come here every day. I've already I've already got place. our building picked out, our new uh double down media building. That's right. Uh, right. and the first thing I'm gonna purchase after I purchase the building is a ribbon board around the top. And we're going to uh, sell it, sell it to a uh, a prominent lawyer who's yeah. going to sponsor, and it's going to be the ticker, the scores, uh, on the ribbon board, and you see it right off of I sixty five and Highway thirty one. Oh man! Oh, that's wait a minute! Brilliant! Yeah, he's got us at sixty five and thirty one. Yeah, why are we moving why. there? No idea. That's so far from our house. Because that's a that's a good building that's close to that area. <laughs> okay. You'll have uh, enough money; it doesn't matter. Yeah. You'll have a place nearby there yeah. too. I just thought Lance would be happy. I was thinking sales. I think that's a great thing <laughs> for yeah. sales. Right? First, first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> I went ribbon board and sells. Yeah. Listen, so, we have, uh, we have a lot of love for you guys. Yeah, we love I mean, you personally too. and and. Yeah. Professionally, what it's been what you've is, done. This is a two year mark for know, us, really, with you guys. But what you've done to grow into what you've grown into, it, it, and and seeing more and more people show up. I mean, I told them today. I said, "There's going to be people here at nine and nine oh five. Yeah, the show they, and there, there will be. Yeah, and to see it grow the way it's grown, and to see your numbers the way they're growing, and your success. Congrats! I know well, it. Thank I you. mean, it was a leap to do it. I'm glad you did it, and I don't. I, I'm sure you've never looked back and said, nope. "I wish we wouldn't have done this." Yeah, and the crowds are actually getting so big that we may have to start facing them pretty soon. Yeah, we? well, we'll think about that. Yeah. Either that, or maybe two TVs they can see. On <laughs> That's right. We'll that get something right figured out. Uh, we'll get it out. Hey, uh, the mystery fifth hour. First of all, give us please a thumbs up. Make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Set your alerts so you know when we're live, and follow us on all social media at Next Round Live at Next Round Live. This is presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental, local rental company you can depend on. All kinds of vehicles to choose from. That includes trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans. Easy to rent, in and out fast. Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest, Tuscaloosa on Skyline Boulevard. Reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003 or McCurryRentals.com. Went on the coast, visit Steve and the Floribama. They are family to us, and we appreciate them hosting us on the Mystery Fifth Hour. Thank you for watching on the next round.